It's been a fiery day at the Corruption Commission with former billionaire Nathan Tinkler demanding claims against him be withdrawn. The embattled businessman came under attack for apparent donations to a Liberal Party slush fund. Defiant, Nathan Tinkler barrels in to the Corruption Commission. Still had nothing to do with this. Nothing. Nothing to do with the cash for favours scandal which has rocked the Liberal Party and rocked Mr Tinkler's business reputation. His lawyer demanding corruption allegations against Nathan Tinkler be withdrawn. He goes to Wall Street next week to raise half a billion dollars and they say to him, you are a corrupt businessman running a Tinkler scheme to bribe politicians in New South Wales and they show him the door. The inquiry heard Nathan Tinkler donated $53,000 to the Federal Liberal Party, a cheque which ended up in the hands of the alleged slush fund, the Free Enterprise Foundation. That money was split. $35,000 went to the campaign of disgraced former Liberal MP Tim Owen, $18,000 to Londonderry MP Bart Bassett. Nathan Tinkler claims he has no knowledge of how or why the money was diverted. Have you got anything to do with this at all, Nathan? Nothing at all. Nathan Tinkler also denied he was the big man, referred to in a text message to former police minister Mike Gallagher about a mystery $120,000 donation. Corrupt former minister Joe Tripodi was also grilled on why he was providing information to Nathan Tinkler's development arm, Bildev, right before the Labor government was voted out. Tell us, Mr Tripodi, why were you helping out Bildev so much? The ICAC has previously heard Joe Tripodi was doing his bit to secure a job post-politics. He'll be back in the witness box on Monday. Lizzie Pearl joins us now. And Lizzie, this is far from over with more big names set to appear next week. Yeah, you're right there, Georgie. It's the who's who of New South Wales politics, past and present here next week. Following Joe Tripodi will be the former Labor Minister, Eric Rusendahl. Also giving evidence will be the former New South Wales Premier, Christina Keneally. Chris Hatcher and Mike Gallagher, former Liberal Ministers, are also due here. They are accused of playing a key role in this cash for favours scandal. And Bart Bassett will also be giving evidence. He's the Londonderry MP who stood aside from the Liberal Party earlier this week after being embroiled in the scandal. Georgie.